that storm wind been created by the power of speech means the bad words that a person is saying with his mouth when he's falling to Tavat Ni'uf to last for women even though it's not written here in the Likutei Moran in the Torah it's written in a different place that Rabbeinu is bringing that the first letters of the words Hashem Sfatai Tiftach is the first letters Aleph, Shin and Taf. It means Eshet, it's a wife. When a man got Ava to his wife, last for his wife, even worse if he's got Chas Shalom, Ta'ava for other women, Chas Shalom. But if a person even have only Ta'ava last for his wife, Already he loses the power of tefillah. He loses Hashem Sfatai Tiftach. This is it. He cannot pray. Means that as much as you work on your Ta'avat Ni'uf to go out from lust for women and to be clean, this is how much you're going to connect yourself to Hashem Itbarach. And like that Rabbeinu is saying, that Ikar Chibur, main connection to Hashem Itbarach, is through the prayers. When Borei Olam is telling us in the Holy Torah the secret of Kedusha, of, of, of holiness, it's when Hashem is saying to Moshe Rabbeinu, now tell all of the people to go back to their tents. And Rabbeinu told us to be with their wives. It's okay. They allow. Because a few days before they were pushim, separated, they were pure, they, were, they prepared themselves for Muhammad. Kabbalat Torah, receiving the Torah. <coughs> but now after they received the Torah, it was okay to go back to be with their wives. Vata and you, Hashem is saying to Moshe, Amod Imadi, stand here with me. And we learn, En Amida El Atfila. That the fact that Hashem told Moshe Rabbeinu, stand, means <coughs> pray. All of the holiness, all of the purity depends in the tefillot, in the prayers. Only in that. And it doesn't have to be prayers on Kedusha. Every time you pray, you purify. Every time you connect yourself to Hashem Barach, Hashem is fire. Hashem is fire. And that fire is purifying you. You've been contaminated in fire of lusts and desires that you were flame of fire, torch of fire for desires of this world. Every woman you saw, Mama, she wanted to look at her more and to think about her and to, to smell her and chas shalom, to touch her. And things that every person with a little bit of, of, of common sense will... If you would hear your thoughts, that someone else would speak those thoughts, you would put him behind bars, no doubt. <laughs> be right, be right. If you would hear someone talk what did you think, you would throw him to prison. You wouldn't let him go free. You wouldn't let him be the father of your children. You wouldn't let him be the husband of your wife, for sure. You wouldn't let him go near your friends, your relatives. You wouldn't let him, because that person He's a mshigne, he's a maniac, he's crazy. He's mshuga. Rabbeinu is saying that insanity is coming from ta'avat ni'uf, ta'avat nashim, lust for women. Makes the person mshuga. What's your connection with that woman? What's, what you have with her? Who is she for you? And I'm talking about your wife. I'm not talking about other foreign women, women of your friends, women of... of, of of other Bnei Israel, brothers, sisters. I'm not talking about that. Your wife. Who is she for you? This is something that every person, if we're a fool, so we can take it as a rebuke. But I take those things for an observation to look at myself. I'm taking those things and I'm going with it to the field. I'm checking what's, what's going on in my mind. Who am I? What's going on? 
When I'm thinking about my wife, what am I thinking about her? It's just a temporary world that in this world, in this period of time, we have a mission. What's the mission? The mission is only not to forget the Creator, to remember that it's all Him, never to fall in the trap of all of those coverings, of all of those husks. husks.